More than a year in the making, and it comes down to this week. Harris versus Trump in the race for the White House. How the state officials are caring for your vote and how you can care for your mental health leading up to Election Day. Hello, everyone. I'm Mindy Becerra, in for Jason. Welcome to 11 TV Hill. Your vote will be uh, then be in the care of elections officials across the country. That includes Jairus Demarinus, Maryland State Administrator of Elections, and he joins us now. And thank you so much for coming in and joining us here in the studio. Thank we you, really Mindy, for it. thanks for inviting me for this uh, uh, today. So, characterize the election so far. How's it going? Uh, it's been robust. Uh, you know, I think we've just finished up early voting. We've had nearly a million people vote early. Uh, in person, so that's fantastic. Uh, beats uh, 2020 numbers, and we have over 500,000 ballots cast uh, by mail already, with 860,000 requests so far. So it's, I think that the turnout is looking, uh, you know, very, like I said, robust. There's an excitement, there's an enthusiasm out with voters that wanting to make their voices heard, and I'm excited for this. Yeah. Day. So what does that tell you? that so many people are already casting the vote. Are they just really in favor and, and, and really like early voting or is there just more interest in this election? Uh, well, I just hope that there's always interest in elections. Yeah. I love elections. I want to see 100 percent turnout. That's my goal. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I want to, you know, I think that there's been an excitement amongst both parties uh, for candidates. And, you know, I think people want to make their voices heard and see how the where they want to direct this country for the next four years. So mm -hmm. I want to encourage everyone to come out and vote. There's no I, excuse not to. Right, <laughs> right. And let's talk about the integrity of the ballot. Sometimes that's sure. an issue that comes up in elections. How do you um, ensure the integrity? Of the well, ballot? first, I think mail-in voting has been a much maligned recently. Mm -hmm. And we, we've mitigated all that through lots of communication. So first, when uh, you, if you requested a mail-in ballot, we tell you when it's going to be delivered. So the voter automatically gets a notif you know, notification saying, oh, it's on its way, so that they know to expect it in the mailbox. Uh, once they get it, then they, once they return it into it, either through the, the drop boxes, to, we have 286 drop boxes located throughout the state, or through the postal service, once the local boards receive it, we then notify the voter again, saying it has been received. Finally, when we canvass it and put it through and count it, we tell the voter a third time it okay. has been canvassed. We can track those ballots if they go through the Postal Service from when we mail it out to the voter to their mailbox and if they put it back into the stream where it is throughout the Postal Service. Mm -hmm. uh, and the notification is within 48 to 74 hours, so it's very timely. Not, it's not something that you know, you'll wait weeks to find out about a notice for each count. So I think they can have full faith and confidence in the process. Additionally, those drop boxes are monitored with video surveillance 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you know, the local boards do pickups for them as well. So you know, the security around those drop boxes are very tight. Mm -hmm. uh, as for election day and early voting, you know, the machines are, you know, very tested. We do logic and accuracy testing for them, uh, rigorous standards. They've been certified by federal and state, uh, you know, processes. So Marylanders can feel confident about the machines and the, the tabulation part of that as well. What happens if you requested a mail-in ballot and maybe you lost it or something happened? Can you go on Election Day and vote? Yes, uh, but you'd be voting a provisional ballot. If you have lost it or spoiled your mail-in ballot, you can always request a new one. Uh, there's still time to request that, uh, to have it delivered to you. But if one in doubt, if you have to go, you would go and vote in person, but you would be voting a provisional ballot, and that would be counted after Election Day. And if you didn't cast any other ballot, it would be counted in full. Okay. Can you register to vote? on Election Day on Tuesday? Yes, Maryland is a, a same-day voter registration state. I'm very proud of that. Uh, so, you know, we had an advanced voter registration deadline on October 15th. You could come in, but if you miss that, uh, you, you can still participate in this election. So go to a polling place uh, on Election Day that's near your neighborhood. We have all that information available on our website. And you can register and vote on the exact same day. And if you go to vote.md.gov backslash vote2024. It will show you what ID you need to bring for same-day voter registration. Okay. It's, it's, it's just more to prove your residency than identification. Right. So how do people know where to go? I know a lot of people already know they're, they're voting, they're polling place, but how, so, how do you find So you out? have a few ways. One, uh, we've mailed out specimen ballots to every voter. 
and the specimen ballots identify your particular polling place. Mm. Uh, your voter registration card also uh, identifies that. You can call our, you know, our, our line at the State Board of Elections and we will tell you which, which polling okay. place you're assigned to. Uh, and you can also look it up online through our voter services on our website as well. When you type in your address and your information, we will then have that inf your polling place with a map to direct you how close it is to your house. Okay. <laughs> There's a story we've been covering about a letter that some people have received um, saying, you know, you, you did or did not vote in these past elections yes. and we're kind of watching you. You got one yourself. Yes. What did it say exactly? Uh, it just said, like, you know, this is your voter history and, you know, it blacked out your neighbor's uh, voting history and it had something that they would uh, look at, you know, after the election uh, for, you know, if you voted or not. Uh, the Attorney General has uh, taken over this matter here. He recently just sent out a cease and desist letter to it. Uh, regardless of whether or not you've received this letter, I hope it doesn't turn off anybody from voting because voting is the key to this here. And I want to make sure that every Marylander has their voice heard. So don't be intimidated. Don't feel threatened by these letters or any sort of activity that goes on in the next couple of days here. Uh, just go out and vote because mm -hmm. that's, that's the important part. That's what it's all about. And real quick before we go, for those wanting to vote on Election Day, which I like to do, I'm <laughs> traditional that way. What advice do you have? When should you go so you don't have to wait in line forever? <laughs> well, I guess the thing is, right, there's always that morning rush that right. people need to do it. Uh, the afternoon is always usually the lightest period historically. Uh, but if you're in by 8 o'clock online, you're going to be able to vote. Okay. Uh, just, you know, sometimes be a little bit patient, uh, plan, make, make a good plan for it on Election Day here. Uh, you know, but you know, it's it's important for our democracy. This is what we've. This is our, what our country is founded upon: participation in elections. So, you know, go out, participate. I want to get that hundred uh, percent, you know, record for turnout. So, right. yes, that would be great. Yeah, it would All be. Right. <laughs> All right, thank you so thank much, you. Jared. I thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you.